Hey guys, it's me. Um, I'm off today. And if you can't tell from the picture that you just saw, I had the opportunity to go buy a sitting frame in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And um, I had asked them to hold a couple of scans of thread for me um, that Trisha at 3 Isle Thread wasn't able to get. Um, and actually, was, they actually had a couple of Sorry, I'm pouring stuff out of the bag. Um, they have actually had in stock a couple of five yard skeins of the car next to me. Sorry. Um, they had actually had a couple of five yard skeins of the gas bankers gray. Hmm, that's about right. Maybe a little bit darker than it's showing. Anyway. Um, and I picked up a couple of things, other things while I was there. Um, this was in the planner's bin the last time I was there. And thankfully, it was still there. And I had kept thinking about it, so I picked that up. It is Miss Meadows from Alexandra Adelaide. I'm not even into ladybugs, and I thought that was really pretty. So, I had to get that. And I also picked up... Um, it's um, from Blackbird Designs. It's called Winter is Past. I really, I really like the... Um, sorry. I really like the blues and the greens in this one. So, I got that. And when I went to check out, they had these little thread keeps. They had these wooden thread keeps at the counter. I had to. I had to. It just it, it just screamed, buy me. Buy me now. So I had to get it. So that was my trip to Sitch and Prime. Luckily, I was kind of on a time crunch. I'm actually at my next destination right now. So, I didn't have a ton of time to just keep looking around. So, I got a few things. And I now have all of my threads that I need for my long dog samplers that I'm going to be starting next year. So, that's fun. Um, so... Just thought I would check in, show you what I got at Stitch and Frame because I'm not doing like ordinary updates right now. Um, so yeah, I'm about to go in here into my next destination. Um, if you remember me mentioning yesterday about uh, going to see a lawyer, I'm here. And um, yeah, I will speak to you guys here probably a little bit once I get to my next thing. So, I just met with a lawyer, and I would say it went well. Like, we didn't actually um, start anything this time, but it was like a free consultation. Um, and I'm, I'm, we, we have two different routes we, we can take, um, and I'm leaning more towards the other route from what I was initially considering after speaking with him so that's good um i have a plan i just need to get um he gave me a form and stuff like that so i just needed to um get all of my stuff together and when i get that together then i can give him a call back and um get the ball officially rolling so uh the good news is is that um it doesn't with, with the direction that I'm taking, it, it won't really be affected too much by if I were to, say, get go back down to a part-time job. So, that's good. Um, but, yeah, I, I hate being cryptic. Um, I hate being cryptic with updates and stuff like that. But, you know, there's just some things not everybody needs to know. Um... But, um, it's just, it's something I've discussed with a couple of people, like, in my personal life. And it's not something that I want to discuss with everybody, at least not until something is finalized. And once it's finalized, um, and we get the ball rolling and all that stuff is taken care of, then I will share it. Um, but that, that's not going to be anytime soon. It'll be sometime next year. So... Um, I am on my way. I've got to stop by the bank 
and make a deposit and then I probably will head over to um, the Charlotte area to the mall there which is a lot bigger and a lot busier um, and a lot more stores and um, try to see if I can get a couple of gifts that I still need to get and um, see if I can still see if they'll still let me exchange blanket that I bought <laughs> at the end of um, November which I think they will but uh, now that I have a better idea of exactly what I'm looking for so um, that's where I stand right now that was a little bit of an update on the lawyer thing and if anybody cares um, but yeah, it went, it went pretty good. It was really just an informational meeting. So, um, I definitely, it's, it, I'm, I'm coming away with a plan and an idea about what I need to do. So, um, I guess let me go get this other stuff taken care of. And, um, I will be back in a little bit. Construction. Arr. to the mall, managed to get my son's um, sleep blanket switched out, um, because the one I bought him before, um, found out he wasn't really into that kind of thing anymore, not as much as he used to be. So, apparently, here at the holidays, Spencer's doesn't do refunds, um, so I had to switch it out. So, I um, I found them a Rick and Morty reversible fleece blanket that was $10 more than the one I paid for earlier. Um, but I went ahead and got it. Um, I liked it better than the one that had the design on it I thought he might like better. Um, but that other one it's just, it didn't feel as good, like it wasn't as soft. So, I went ahead and got the reversible one. And I picked up, um, a cute little thing, snack, for my friend that does my nails. And, um, I think she'll get a kick out of it. Um, went, looked around the mall, some, really the thing that I was looking for most was a scarf and hat set or some at least something that matched together that you could buy separately that matched together for my mom because I know she'll like something like that how hard is it to find a matching set like a like a cable knit set of a hat and a scarf. Apparently it's damn near impossible because it doesn't exist. I found one um, at JCPenney and I, de I debated on going back and getting it but for some reason I thought I had seen it in belts and since I came in through belts I, I didn't feel like going back to JCPenney's. And I, because I, I, I found it in JCPenney's when I was out, and then I decided to go ahead and head on back, um, back to the car as I walk in belts on the way out. And for some reason, I thought I had seen it in belts, and while I was in belts, I realized, no, wait, I saw it in JCPenney. So, and then, I, like I said, I didn't feel like going back out, going walking back over to JCPenney's, and that's too far. Um, I think Belks and JCPenney's, I'm not going to say they're on the opposite sides of the mall, but they're not close together. So, I'm just going to have to look around some more. And, still didn't find anything else. I got a better idea of what I wanted to get Andy. I've gotten his big thing. I got his big thing. And I know he watches these, so I'm not 
I'm not going to give too much away right now. But uh, I did find them something. Like, I found something in a store. But they didn't have his size. So, I had to go online and order it. And it will be shipped. I've already ordered it. So, but it kills me because there was something that I wanted to get him that I saw online. And it wasn't available online. But if you found a store that had it in stock, then you could go to the store and pick it up and get it. It just so happens that the only store closest to me where this item was, or is, is about 45 minutes in the opposite direction of home. And I was like, I am not, I don't even feel like, I don't even feel like going out there and getting that. As much as I know he'd like it, I don't feel like going out there and getting that. So, maybe that's something, I don't know. Maybe you'll get something like that later, but not for Christmas. I did think of something else that I did want to get him, something that's kind of needed. So I'm going to get that. So, um, right now I'm on my way back home because I need to get this blanket made. Um, and if I have time, I'll go ahead and put the uh, bath salts together. And then we're going out to dinner with one of his friends at eight. possibly record the 2020 plans video for y'all. So. so, that is what's going on right now. Um, just moseying my way back home in all this traffic. So, that'll be it for this minute. And I will come back later and show, show you what's going on at that minute. Bye. Morning, guys. Sorry. Morning, guys. Um, it is actually now the morning of Thursday, December the 19th. Um, as you can see, I'm on my way to work right now. Um, I do have some big news for you guys though. Tomorrow will be my last day at this job. Um, not because I'm being let go, but because I quit. I just told him like, I can't do it anymore. It's just too much. And he begged and pleaded me to stay. He even offered me two grand extra to stay until the end of January. I said no. Because at that point, I had already called and spoken to a manager at the restaurant that I used to work at. And so he, he's, he's got room for me. He's making, uh, he's gonna let me come back there. And I gotta go talk to him Sunday. Um, Probably just to get, I don't know, any new paperwork or pick up some new shirts or something. I don't know. And I'll definitely, they'll have to get me some new shirts. Um, do I have time? No, I do not. Um, I'm sorry, I was looking to see if I had time. I sat by McDonald's, but I think I might actually just uh, go to Chick fil A, which is right in front of the mall. Um, but, uh, so yeah, that. I really, I really hate the fact that I have to go back there at all. And I feel bad because I just hired this girl. And at least, at least there's somebody else going to be there. Um, but he was begging and pleading with me to, to stay. 
the end of January. He's like, you gotta give me more notice. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll. At first, I told him I was only gonna work today, and after that, that's on him. But I told him I was like, I will, I'll work till Friday. But after that, I'm gone. <coughs> Um, so I, I really had to stand my ground because he even, he even asked me, um, if I could work part time until January as, uh, at least the end of the year, January, I was like, no. So, but today and tomorrow is probably not going to be the most fun because they're going to be kind of busy. Um, at least today is going to be busy judging by the same um, same day. Looking back on last year on that same day. The Thursday before Christmas. Um... know if I mentioned to you guys that guy never showed up <laughs> um, but yeah the other guy that I hired that was supposed to start Tuesday didn't show up so at least I have one help um, which is better than nothing and um, so yeah that's, that's how it's going right now um, you might not see me at all tomorrow like I said, it's going to be busy, um, and I'm not really going to have an opportunity to get any stitching in done. I can't, I'm so sorry, I can't talk this morning. I'm not going to have much opportunity to get any stitching in today or tomorrow. I'm not even bringing it with me, so I don't even have my stitching with me today. Um, so may or may not even see me at all tomorrow um unless there might be like a little two short two minute video clip of me showing any kind of progress at home which i doubt it because tomorrow i have to open an hour earlier than i'm opening today um, and i have to open normally we're open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's our normal hours. Today, in all this past week, I've had to open at 9 a.m. and close at 10. Tomorrow, um, I didn't notice that. Tomorrow, even though it's my last day, I need to open, I think, at 8. So, tomorrow, I'm gonna, I have to be open from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, it's a 14-hour day already. Um, which is not going to be fun, but I'm trying to look on the bright side of this and that I won't have to go to work on Saturday, so, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on with me right now, um, I got about home about 4.30, getting together my 2020 stuff and did a video I did do a 2020 plans video but I'm not sure if, I'm, if I like it enough to post it if I decide not to post that particular one I'll re-record another one either Saturday or Sunday um, when I can actually do it in the daylight because by the time I did it it was nighttime and I don't like doing videos at night so did that and then we went out to dinner with um some of Andy's friends 
and um, had a good time. Went out to like a, one of those Japanese, uh, Chinese um, buffet type places. And um, yeah, had a pretty good time. Ex uh, gifts were exchanged and his friends liked the gifts that he got them. And yeah, I came back home kind of chilled for a little bit and went to bed Probably about 11 o'clock I think we fin we finished watching Superman Returns um, which I think kids started watching the other day but uh, the one with uh, Brandon Routh finished watching that and then I think we went to bed probably about midnight and so yeah that was my day yesterday and um really not much to else to tell. Like I said, you probably won't see much of me um, today or tomorrow. In fact, I might probably just go ahead and post this um, and get it out of the way because I doubt. I'm, there's not going to be any stitching at all. So, that'll do it. I'm almost at work. And so, yeah, I think that's going to do it right now. And uh, if you don't see me tomorrow, you'll see me Saturday. So, I've been here for about two and a half hours. It's really slow, and I'm regretting not bringing my stitching with me. I've already talked to Andy, and he's supposed to be bringing <laughs> he's supposed to be bringing my bag with uh, up here to me, and maybe some lunch if he wants to be nice. Um, but yeah. <laughs> now watch, by the time he gets here, it'll be too busy for me to get any stitching in. But, we'll see what happens. So, do you guys remember this morning when I was saying it's probably going to be busy and I didn't even bring my stitching with me because... I probably wouldn't be able to get any stitching in anyway. Well, thanks to my amazing boyfriend, he brought me my stitching bag. And although I didn't get to stitch what I had really wanted to stitch on, this is what was in the bag. <laughs> this is one of the things that was in the bag. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I did get a little bit of progress on it today. It was really slow. So, um, last you saw this, I had like a few, I think I was up to about this row right here in the, in the red on the roof here. I got the rest of this done. This little stitch right here, that little stitch right there, that bugs me. And it's not that I stitched past it and went back. It's just for whatever reason, there was a light spot exactly the size of one stitch on that length of floss so i finished that part of the roof there and then the red down here at the bottom and then the red square and doorknob in the door so and it is now almost 10 to 10 uh, which means i will be closing up in about 10 minutes so that is going to do it for tonight um, I'm going to get all these clips from the last couple of days edited together and get it uploaded so I can see you guys tomorrow. So, um, until I see you tomorrow then, uh, have a great one. Bye.